Kush, you are on mute. Kush, uh, Dr. Kush. You're not audible, Dr. Kush. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. So I will talk on the inferior petrosal sinus emptying. Uh, it is the gold standard test for the differential diagnosis of ACTS dependent Cushing syndrome to localize the ACTS source and to know the lateralization of pituitary ACTS source. So pituitary drains through hypophyseal veins into the cavernous sinus, then to IPS and then through uh, petrosal veins, join the jugular veins. And whereas there are various venous channels which has been used to localize the ACTS source like cavernous sinus. However, there is more risk of cranial palsies. Most common use channel is inferior petrosal sinus and the jugular vein has been also used, but there is always risk of dilution of ACTH. Two common approaches, which are femoral vein and jugular vein through which the IPS can be reached. There are various anatomical variations of inferior petrosal sinus and these are important to note for the success of procedure and interpretation of results. So IPS can be hypoplastic, plexiform, there can be no connection between the IPS and jugular vein, and there can be dominant petrosal sinuses to a tune of up to 30%. And venous angiography is used to confirm the anatomy and placement of catheters. So why we do bilateral IPSs? Because there is always an asymmetrical, sometimes asymmetrical venous stainers, or there can be anatomical variations and uh, <clears throat> due to location of adenoma uh, to either side, we need to stimulate uh, we need to do simultaneous IPSs because of to know the lateralization and to overcome the risk of sampling in different phases of AC test equations. Uh, since the pituitary adenoma remains, uh, retains partial responsiveness, so we uh, do stimulation to increase the sensitivity of uh, IPSs. So what are the indications? So whenever there is AC test penetration syndrome, a negative or equivocal MRI, then uh, IPSs is indicated or equivocal hormonal uh, responses to hormonal tests. For example, ACTH and cortisol response with CRS stimulation is not consistent with the CD and SDA is suppressible, or there is any discrepancy between the biochemistry and uh, imaging finding. For example, MRA negative and SDDST suppressible, or in some centers, it can be used as a routine test for differential diagnosis of ACTH dependent Cushing syndrome. Or even to know the persistence of Cushing disease even after previous unsuccessful surgery to ensure that the diagnosis of Cushing disease was correct. So <clears throat> simple algorithm to uh, do uh, IPSs should be, uh, if you know that uh, if we diagnose ACCH dependent Cushing syndrome and CRH is positive or SDDSC is positive, then and MRI is negative, consider IPSs. Or if CRH is negative or SDDS, uh, SDDST is non-suppressible and MRI is negative, we should go for IPSs, and if CRH is negative and uh, MRE is positive, and if tumor is more than uh, six mm, we can avoid the IPSs and directly proceed for the surgery. But if tumor is less than six mm, we should go for IPSs. So, what are the prerequisites for IPSs? First, we need to know establish the diagnosis of ACTH AC dependency. Uh, this is because there is suppression of normal corticotroph by hypercortisolemia and uh, whatever ACTs we are getting through IPS is through uh, is secreted by the uh, neoplastic cells. As, uh, at, before the procedure or the, on the day of procedure, we should, we should confirm the hypercortisolemia to rule out cyclic Cushing syndrome. I know. And, and if there is, uh, we have done the dexamethasone suppression test and before doing IPSs. Uh, there should be minimum of gap of two weeks. Mm -hmm. So general principle inform the labor laboratory proper sampling yeah, of the sir, tubes. Comorbidity proper labeling of sample tubes is very important and arrange them the uh, ice box as per sampling protocol and show the availability of monitor to monitor the side effects. Uh, all the consumables should be ready beforehand. Uh, core centrifuge and minus 20 degree refrigerator is it quite sometimes if the procedure is ended uh, after laboratory time, timings. Informed consent should be there, part should be prepared, urinary catheter should be there, and secure one peripheral venous assess for any uh, drug administration. So patient is put on uh, spine on fluoros fluoroscopy tables. Part is prepared as, as any for sterile procedure. Femoral sheath, 
uh, it can be done either unilaterally or bilaterally to reach the IPSS. Uh, once the femoral sheath is placed, microcatheters are introduced through IBC to IJB and then bilateral IPSS are uh, reached. Heparin infusion is uh, run throughout the procedure to prevent any blockages of the microcatheters. And once the catheters are reached in the IPSS, fluoroscopy is used to confirm the position of catheters. And all the three ports are secured, which is right IPS, left IPS, and peripheral vein for the sampling. So ideally, baseline samples to set should be uh, drawn from uh, each port simultaneously. Inject the stimulating agent. The various stimulating agents has been used, which are ovine or uh, human CRH in dose of 100 microgram. Desmopressin, 10 microgram IV, or combined CRH and desmopressin. Uh, lysin, vasopressin in different doses as solo infusion has been used in very uh, many studies. And sampling protocols, there are various sample protocols, <clears throat> but usually uh, within 50 to 30 minutes post stimulation, uh, most of the results are achieved. Monitor, monitor the side effects during procedures, transfer the sample in ice box immediately. And if you cannot transfer the sample, then centrifuge in a cold centrifuge and store them in serum in a minus 20 degree and monitor the side effects uh, after procedures. Although this procedure is very safe, but there are uh, some side effects which can be uh, due to uh, uh, drug induced or which can be procedure related can occur. And serious side effects, which are mainly IJV thrombosis, uh, which can occur. So interpretation of results to localize the ACH source, uh, ACTH ratio of central to periphery at each, of, at each point of time uh, if, is taken, basal ratio of more than two from central to periphery, and stimulated ratio of uh, central to periphery more than three is taken as uh, positive results. For lateralization of ACTS source, uh, ratio of more than 1.4 is taken right from either right to left or left to right. So this is one of the report of, of IPSS. Uh, we should enter the demographic details, stimulating agent should record the any procedure related complications. And if you see in this report, uh, there is uh, right cent uh, uh, cent right central to periphery as well as left central to periphery ratio of more than uh, uh, more than three post stimulation and intersinus inter ratio of more than 1.4 uh, on the right side. So, impression was ACTS source is localized to a pituitary and lateralized on the right side, and MRI also localized the tumor on the right side. So, various uh, hormone has been used to increase the diagnostic accuracy. Uh, mainly, prolactin has been studied in many studies. So. It is used for successful catheterization and prolactin IPS to peripheral ratio of more than eight is considered for successful catheterization. Uh, there are various uh, other uh, calculations which are prolactin normalized ACTH, ACTH ratio. And uh, if we take it as a more than 1.3 for Cushing disease, ectopic for less than minus uh, 0 0.7 and indeterminate 0 0.7 to 1.3. Collectin adjusted ACTH ratio is also uh, calculated for localization of tumor. So this is one of the report where we calculated the collectin adjusted ACTH ratio and collectin adjusted normalized ratio. And uh, ACTH was localized to pituitary. However, there were discordant results between the intersinus ACTH ratio and uh, collectin adjusted ACTH ratio. So in this study, uh, this patient, uh, where the intersinus uh, ACTH ratio and collectin adjusted ACTH ratio were discordant, MRI and TSS localization, localization was toward the right side. So accuracy of this collectin adjusted ratio is not very high. So this is another study where we compared the ABP and human CRH. Uh, we found that the both the stimulating agents are good for stimulation. And with the good localization accuracy, however, lateralization accuracy is uh, lower. So there are pitfalls in the IPSS. Although it has a very good sensitivity and specificity, but false positive uh, cases do occur. Uh, 
मेल इन पोस्ट एटिन और पेशेंट और मेडिकल थेरेपी साइक्लिकल कशिंग डेटोपिक सी आर एच आईमा और सूडो कशिंग स्टेट्स एंड फॉल्स नेगेटिव डू अकर्स इन ड्यू टू एब नॉर्मल वीनस ड्रेनेज और इन एवर टू कैथेटाइज द आई पी एस सो टू कंक्लूड आई पी एस इज स्टिल द गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड टेस्ट फॉर द डिफेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ई सी टी एस डिपेंडेंट कशिंग सिंड्रोम एक्यूरेट लिटलाइजेशन कैन गाइड प्रोड्यूटिव सर्जरी However, we need specialized neuro radiology units. Uh, there are the financial constraints and availability of CRH, uh, and false positive and false negative cases do occur during this procedure. Uh, thank you all.